worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry yours Hello, hi, good morning, Rebecca, Drifting with Rebecca. It's Thursday, February 16th. And we're supposed to get a lot of snow today, so one of my kids, he goes to, uh, my my older son, Alex, he has Asperger's, so he goes to a school about, I don't know, about 30 minutes from here um, for kids with special needs, and they called off because we're supposed to get a lot of snow this afternoon, and going to the school is like country roads, so I'm assuming that's why they called off. My other son had to go to school because his is only down the street. So he was not a happy about camper about that anyway I'm in the process I'm still packing up um, uh, the stuff from Tuesday's auction wait what's today yes from Tuesday's auction I did half of it last night and then I'm today I'm gonna do the other half um, this is the thing with uh, what now let me let me show you see these items are still left I still have all this is one person's stuff right here another person's stuff another person's stuff and another person's stuff but I already packed up um, these ones so one two three four five six seven and then I got to take these ones to work with me because I didn't have the first class boxes here at my house so I got to take those to work with me to find boxes because we got a lot of boxes at work. And um, yeah, so it takes a long time to, to pack this stuff up. This stuff is um, going to be in Friday night's auction along with some other things I'm going to get when I go to some stores tomorrow morning before work. Right? Today's Friday or Thursday. So yes, so this stuff will be for that. And then over here, I have, this is my GoPro setup sets uh, kit. It has a case and it has all the accessories. The GoPro is charging its last third battery. I have it charging over the, the third battery that's gonna be with it. It comes with two batteries, the micro disc. Sorry, I don't know why this is tilted. Anyway, the tripod and all these things. And I'm selling it because I don't use it. I bought it thinking I would use it, but it's not that easy to use. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's easy to use. It's just not convenient because everything, you know, has to be screwed in. But if you're going to use it for, you know, not on the go all the time, yes, it's perfect. It, it's a great camera. But mainly because I use my phone for everything, my iPhone. So it's so much easier. And uh, anyway, so I had somebody in my auction on Tuesday that asked about it because I had mentioned that I was going to be selling my GoPro. And so I told them all the stuff and they asked, they messaged me and wanted to know if they could buy it. And um, so I sent this morning, I sent her pictures of all the stuff. And I guess that's up to her. If she doesn't want to. I'm going to list it on eBay and Facebook and it will be on my whatnot marketplace as well. So, all right. So, uh yeah, so you got to keep in mind with shipping with whatnot, how much shipping supplies you will need and go through. You will need a lot of bubble wrap, a lot of paper, wrapping paper, and a lot of boxes. So I, I, I'm going to start to buy boxes from Amazon so that I have them in stock all the time, all different sizes. Um, the brown boxes, because I often have a lot of uh, first class items and you can't use... U USPS boxes for first class so I also need those uh, poly or the you know the bat the envelopes the uh, padded envelopes that's what they're called um, especially for jewelry because I sell a lot of keychains and jewelry in my buy it now to help people with the weight you know issue so I'm gonna get some of those as well uh, so this morning, that, that's what I've been doing this morning. I've been still packing up stuff. Get, I've been taking pictures of the GoPro stuff. And um, I'm going to have an auction tomorrow night at 9 o'clock with all the stuff that's on the table and then some new stuff. And um, 
Yeah, I love I love doing the options on Friday even more because on Fridays it's Friday. I don't have to get up early in the morning, so I can stay up late and hang out with people, which is fun. It's it's just fun to me. I have a blast. So yeah, that today I gotta go to work, and then um, after work I'm gonna come and finish up packing. So that uh, I'm gonna see it have some of the, my husband take some of this stuff to the post office to get it going, um, and then this other part of it will go out tomorrow, uh, so that they all can get their things. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a short video. Um, I do wanna talk about uh, when you do go sourcing. Well, when I go sourcing, I lately. Some of the items I sold this time were bigger items too, but that's because I'm trying to move all my bigger items out. I'm going to stick with a certain size of item so that shipping's easier and faster and it doesn't take so long and people, you know, are more willing to pay for it for the less weight. So I've been trying to just stay in a certain size for things so that um, shipping's a lot easier for me because, yeah these boxes I, I literally have to use moving boxes to send some of this stuff because I don't I just don't have boxes that are that big um, my husband he's been working on our bar for the last couple weeks he's I don't want to I'll show I'm gonna do a video I did a video where I showed that when we first bought the house in January I did a video showing a tour of the house and I'll show I'll do a video soon of what we've done because we did a lot we painted a lot and got everything settled and everybody settled in their rooms and uh so i'm gonna do a, a after tour i kind of was waiting for the weather to just calm down because um i wanted to show the backyard and but we're expecting another snowstorm today so that's probably not gonna happen right now which is okay it's okay and uh oh i also i found this set Six. These are the uh, Roadrunner Otagiri. Yeah, th at uh, Goodwill. So those are cool. Uh, my Otagiri stuff always sells pretty fast. Um, I don't know. It, and people like it. it I like it. it. It's like rustic to me, like cabin type stuff. And um, anyway, so I'm going to get going. I got to get uh, finished getting ready for work. And uh, I hope you had a great day and I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I meant, I forgot to mention, I'm gonna tack on a quick a Goodwill trip that I took the other day. I'm gonna tack the video onto this vlog and do it all in one. So please stick around and check that out and like, comment, and subscribe. So this is our local um, Salvation Army that we have here in DeKalb, Illinois. I, I don't find a ton of stuff in this store, usually just one or two items. Um, but I always come and check. I did find two great, cool, um, well, you're gonna see it in a minute. But, um, and, it's, uh, and the aisles in this store are so small that you can only fit one person at a time one cart because their carts are so big so two people cannot pass each other i mean you can't even pass each other like a cart and a person much less two carts go past each other i did i did take this pink decanter and it did end up selling in my whatnot auction that night on tuesday night that i went to the store this day on tuesday and um and then i go and put that one in the cart and i take that purple one as well that one i still have so that will be in my auction on friday but um i like how they put this little cabinet here and they put a whole bunch of bottles and stuff on it so i always come and check that didn't used to be there but lately it has been so i, co I come and check it out i didn't notice that bench there i should have checked that out it might go nice in my doorway or my um a, a nook i have in my house 
Um, they also hardly ever have uh, good coffee mugs. So I don't usually get coffee mugs here. <laughs> I was doing that so I could take, uh, so I could screenshot them for the, um, for the, you, you know, the thumbnail. So I, I do that. I, I wanted to look at these. They were horse bookends, but um, I don't know. They were really heavy, and I just didn't want to deal with them as far as shipping-wise. Those bottles were big, but they were not heavy. So you, know, you see how small the aisle is? The, just the cart fits <laughs> in you. So I did not... So it's difficult like if somebody is down the aisle when you get to it you you have to either wait till they're done looking or you got to go around to get back um i like this mickey mouse salt and pepper shaker but they were christmas and i was just i'm so over christmas right now until later in the year i was trying to read what the word on the <laughs> shaker said but i couldn't get the sticker to budge so i gave up this, this um, aisle is usually like salt and pepper shakers, you know, canisters, cruets, a lot of clear glass. I'm, I'm actually trying to get into, I'm holding onto the cart like that because it keeps veering to the left and it's hard to control. So <laughs> I was trying to control it with one hand while holding the camera in my other hand. Well, I'm trying to really get to the next aisle over, but there's two guys in there and they they just are talking in the middle of the aisle and not moving. Oh, no. No, there was a man. That was a different time that the men were there. That was a, there was a man and he was looking, so I was letting him have his turn. This is my other favorite aisle I go down. This one is um, the vases. And I just looked to see if they got anything new. I don't think I found anything new this day. But I always come and check. This aisle and the one next to it are the two main aisles that I look through. Alright, let's look around. Um, I do pick up this dog planter, but and I like it. It was really cute, but eventually I have to put it back because I can see a. Um, it was like a hairline fracture. It it kind of looked part of the crazing, but it didn't. It was, it was clear. It was it was a crack, and um, I'm trying my hardest not to put things up damaged anymore. I'm trying to just. You know, the stuff that I already have that is, I'm trying to just moving out. But things that have damages, I'm trying to just either give them away or don't get them at all. So that's why I put the dog planner back and decided to move on from that. So this is the figurines aisle and candle holders and candlesticks on the left side is usually figurines and of all you know of all the holidays or just random and then on the right side is all candles and wood and um, metal pieces and stuff like that so it's my favorite aisle to come to i sometimes find really cool stuff in this aisle but um i didn't today but i still come check it and i usually go down it a couple times because I often miss things. Sorry. Um, but that was not the case today. I, I'm here. It's Valentine's Day on this day. And my husband had told me he knows my favorite thing is to go sourcing. 
So he said for my Valentine's Day gift, I could go after work to the stores and look for stuff for my auction. So that is what I'm doing today. But yeah, I didn't find very much here and uh, just the two decanters. And so I'm gonna be heading out to head over to Goodwill. I'm at my local Goodwill, and they have changed it up. So I'm, I just got to the Goodwill in DeKalb, and they have changed it completely up. It, it, it's much bigger. There's so many more racks than there were before. I, I this is my first time seeing it like this so I have to maneuver and find my way where everything is that I normally go and look at I picked up that um, votive because of the bu bubble bottom it had um, but the top of it is what's throwing me off um, this this vase is Avon I have so actually sold it before but um, I did not want to pick it up again that was a long time ago so um yeah so these there's usually in this goodwill only uh i want to say three rows of racks and they're not very long either and they they hardly ever have, but look at all the racks there's at least six or seven more racks than there normally is i didn't go down there because that's stuff that i don't look at <laughs> i was telling the goodwill guy he's really cool that um i like it i like everything new I mean, I was literally here just a couple of days ago, and it wasn't like this at all. I mean, look at look at that. That's crazy craziness. Um, so this is the you know the hard goods um, section now. It, you, that used to be back there somewhere, and um, so I'm gonna check this out. But uh, it, there was a lot of people in here, and <laughs> even with all these racks and aisles it was pretty crowded i felt like it was pretty crowded um so they the back here used to just be where the furniture was you know and furniture is sparse there's hardly ever any furniture but this is the section where it was and now they've made an entire library section and then put the hard goods back here so I like it. I like the way it is. I, I did pick up this clear cruet. Um, I thought it was, you know, the I thought it was made well. And cruets and decanters, they always do well for me. So um, I'm, I'm just trying to get my bearings because everything is in, in a different place than it normally is. So I'm trying to figure out where where certain things are like where the vases go the, that was just a, a ring holder i picked it up but i do put it back later on so um i think i'm coming around to the vase aisle now yeah the, it's the candles and the vases they usually are together so once i saw the candles i knew the vases would follow the candles are not hardly i mean once in a while i find cool candle holders but usually they're not um, anything, anything special or anything. So I'm gonna look at the vases for a minute.
and and there there you go that is a francoma pottery vase and it is signed on the bottom and i did sell it in a whatnot auction later that night <laughs> it, i was surprised but uh, i did take that vase and then and the other one that's up there but i i later was looking at the one i just put in the cart and i realized it was a souvenir piece so i put it back and i took this one i just liked the look of it but i also kept I couldn't get it out of my mind about the shipping it with that handle. That handle was scaring me. I didn't. I, I just was worried it was not going to get where I needed it to get without being damaged. So, and I'm trying my hardest to get things to people without being damaged. And um, because it's just like. You know, when somebody tells you or messages you saying that, you know, pictures of it being damaged, even though they know it's because of UPS or USPS, it's still, it's like a gut punch. <laughs> That's how I feel, like a knot in my stomach of, oh no, you know, and again, no. It's, it's very frustrating and... um I just, I hate for it to happen, so I'm trying my hardest to avoid that. Now, one of the things I need to learn to do with shipping is, especially with Whatnot, is to unbundle. Because Whatnot um, automatically bundles all the items one person has bought you, bought from you. And um, I need to learn how to unbundle them so that I can send them a couple different packages not just one package and um yeah so, so that the items can get to them in better condition because it just it stresses me out i'm uh just i'm just looking around i'll let you know when i find something Um, I picked up this bottle because it was a liquor bottle and because it said Disserano on it and that reminded me of the Murano ice bucket I got that said Vanini by Disserano on it. So I was, it was driving me nuts. I was like, do they make this? I don't understand. Why is it called that? So, you know, it didn't seem like a vintage bottle and I did um, screenshot it and look it up. And they, it, it, they had it on here for about $4.99 or something. I don't know. But it sold for, I don't know, around... About, I don't know, about $25. But I decided that it it wasn't worth getting. So um, then I moved on. And I, I got this notebook because this is the perfect size notebook that I use for my, my auctions. And my other one, I had ran out. 
so I found another one um so I'm coming to the end of the video I gotta get going I have an auction this night and I still have to get home and clean stuff and but right before I leave left I came across a cart in the aisle and it had all these um, piggy figurines and um, ceramics on it and I took them and they also all sold in my auction I didn't get it on film because it was like in this little area and I couldn't get it there without knocking stuff over so and it was by the register so um but i'll show you some pictures of what they look like because they were really cute so i'm gonna get going and i hope you will like comment and subscribe and check out some of my other videos and please come and check me out on whatnot thanks oh real quick i came across these vintage roadrunner otogiri mugs and they had six of them and i took them all because they sell really well on ebay and that's where i'll be listing them not in an auction so again thank you and i will talk to you later bye bye Worth falling